Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to implement splash damage. If you enjoy tutorials like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ready? Let's go! First up, as always, the assets used in this tutorial are free and the links can be found in the description below. Alright, today we'll dive straight into the script. By opening the projectile behavior, you will see to this point we have used a static damage of 1. To keep the script versatile, we are going to create a float field for damage, and then replace the static values with this field. Now we can have the projectiles vary in the amount of damage they are doing. Let's also add a field for splash range, which is effectively a linear falloff for the damage we're doing, or simply how big an explosion radius is. Let's assign a default value of 1. Next, in the collision 2D method, we should check if we're going to do damage based on our splash range or not. If we are, then we cannot simply use collision 2D's data. We need to do a physics 2D dot overlap circle to find the colliders within range of our explosion. We can easily visualize this in Unity. Since range is best visualized with a circle, let's create a game object with a 2D circle collider on it. As you can see, the radius is 0.5. Let's set that to 1 to visualize what one splash range would look like. It's a pretty big splash range, but that's perfect for a tutorial. If we select the enemies and the game object, you can clearly see if it would hit or not. So now we know how to visualize physics 2D overlap circle. Let's head back to the code after removing the game object we added. Keep in mind though, a better way to visualize this is with gizmos, but we will handle that in another tutorial. We do a physics 2D overlap circle all from the center of the projectile, extending it as far as the splash range. And we're deliberately not passing a layer mask. This method returns an array of colliders it hits, so let's iterate through them in a for each loop. The first thing we need to do here is check if the collider has an enemy behavior on it. If it does, then it's a valid enemy. Colliders have an interesting method called closest point, which returns the closest point on a collider to any other world position. In our case, the projectile's transform position. Then, we can calculate the distance to the projectile. And use an inverse lerp to determine how much damage should be applied. At the very edge of the explosion, splash range, it should return 0. At the very epicenter, distance 0, it should return 1. And everything in between should be scaled linearly. Finally, we can call the take hit method on the enemy to actually apply the damage. That's it for the script. Relatively simple, isn't it? Let's test it out in Unity, shall we? As you can see, the enemy that has been hit takes more damage than the one a little further away. And the enemy all the way on the other side takes no damage. Perfect. In less than 5 minutes you now know how to implement explosion splash damage. Head over to Patreon to see how you can support us in making easy to understand tutorials like this. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification buttons to stay up to date with our 5 minute series. Let us know which tutorial you would like to see next in the comments below. And that's a wrap, see you in the next one!